So today EA dropped the team of the year defenders and uh, they look decent, they look decent. Um, that Alfonso Davis looks outstanding and I'll definitely try him out at some point. But uh, for this video we're going to focus on the brand new moments Jerome Boateng who really does look like he's been given an outstanding centre back item. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out my sponsor, there's a link to do so in the description, igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran you'll get yourself a nice discount but if you use the code Kieran T O T Y you'll get yourself an even bigger discount throughout the team of the year promo. Now this card is not going to come cheap, you do have to complete three different SBCs to get it, you've got to submit an 85 overall with an inform, an 84 overall with a Bundesliga player and an 83 overall with a Bayern Munich player. So I think all in all this is coming to around 250 to uh, maybe 270k. Don't quote me on that, we'll talk about the price later on in the video. But uh, first, let's get these SBCs done and let's get this card in the club. Let's get the most expensive one out the way first. This is the top form SBC. We have this guy as the inform requirement and then we have a Syria and Ligue 1 kind of theme with a uh, Corona at right back. Now for the Bundesliga SBC, as you can see, we do have a bit of a Bundes theme here. Well, I said Bundes, it's all Borussia Dortmund to uh, keep the rating up. We've also got some Serie A players here and some La Liga action in the bottom left. And that will get us a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, which really isn't that great. This game is so broken. Look what happens when I click the Buy Munich thing. That's my actual team. Like, what if I submitted that, that by accident? This is really ridiculous. And then finally, for the Buy Munich SBC, we are literally just submitting a Bundesliga team with uh, Royce uh, to keep the rating up and uh, Javi Martinez as our Bayern Munich requirement. And now those are submitted, we have a 90 rated Jerome Boateng coming in to the club and I've got to tell you, this card looks absolutely stacked so I'm hoping in game it's going to perform really well. So this is the side Jerome Boateng will be playing in, we're going to use Neuer in net for that hyperlink, obviously he does have a team of the year card out now which I will try and review in the next day or two so look out for that but uh, obviously we're here today to focus on Boateng let's jump over to Footbin and let's talk about some chem styles first it actually looks like Boateng's a bit cheaper than I thought he would be he's coming in around 230 at the current time obviously that could change because right now it's literally just gone past 10 past 6 so uh, those prices are fairly new anyway Jerome Boateng without a chem style is a 91 rated centre back with basic he goes to 94 and I think the chem style we're going to actually use on him is going to be shadow now I know a lot of people are going to say what about Anker and anchor would be good for him but he's got quite a big difference between his sprint speed and acceleration and uh, shadow makes it a bit closer albeit still a big gap and um, his acceleration is boosted a lot whereas with anchor it's not as much so uh, yeah let me know in the comment section down below what chem style you would use on this item as I say we are going to be going with shadow in this video Do you remember a few FIFA's ago where 80 pace was absolutely rapid and now it's just a pretty average center back stat um, anyway let's talk about Jerome Boateng stands at six foot four medium medium work rates four stars week foot in terms of traits long throw and injury prone and in terms of in-game stats some absolutely brilliant attributes for a centre back and um, initially like some of the first things we see are the fact that he's got a 96 reaction rating and also 89 defensive awareness so good stats in those areas which is definitely key and uh, obviously he does have some really nice defensive stats apart from that as well a 97 rating for his stand tackle and uh, 85 interceptions uh, both of which will be boosted obviously by the chem style we are using physically he looks ridiculous really good strength of 97 very nice aggression of 90 and really good jumping of 90 so you combine the fact that he's six foot four with that 90 jumping aerially he should be a monster and 75 stamina is definitely good enough for a centre back his dribbling stats for the most part are actually really really nice for a centre back as well so that's also worth mentioning and the same can be said for the passing 95 long passing out the back this guy should be able to distribute over long distances with ease and then finally the pace like I've already touched on there is quite a big gap between the acceleration and sprint speed but in game should feel very quick for a CB so uh, yeah let's just get in some games and let's test him out I think he looks outstanding let's hope he performs as well as he looks on paper okay for Boateng's debut he is actually going to be up against some fellow Bundesliga players and also weirdly a random off chem uh, player moments to Bauer Boateng goes for the ball through the middle and it's a good ball as well and he's made a really bad read with Varane there and Mbappe is through and I should have scored I really should have scored that Boateng, who's going to go along with the clearance, and that is a fantastic pass. Look at that. Oh, I've... I need to stop bottling. I need to stop bottling. I was so focused on looking at the other players, I forgot to press pass. Ourselves a corner now. Boateng is upfield. Wins the header as well, but unfortunately, does not put it goalward. Boateng goes long. 
Left footed this time. Like his passing range is nuts. Nice bow turn. Good pace, good strength. The baller had no chance. Well, at the break, we do have ourselves a 3 1 lead. Unfortunately, we did lose the queen sheet. It wasn't Boateng's fault, so that's why there wasn't equipping there. But um, yeah, uh, annoying not to keep the queen sheet in this game, to be honest, because I felt like I could. And I also feel like I could be a few more goals ahead, but uh, it's my first game of the day, and uh, I think it should with how rusty my finishing was at the start of this game. I was going to try and wiggle through, but Boateng's going to absolutely deny him any space, causes him down, and nabs the ball. Howland, come on. You're not going to dribble past Boateng. Boateng, another left-footed boot upfield. The Bauer gets the ball to Kimmich, but Boateng's going to deal with him, reaching out his long legs just to nab the ball. And at 4-1, my opponent decided to rage quit. So uh, a nice display from pretty much the whole team, to be honest. We defended well for the most part, apart from one error, and uh, we attacked really well. Okay, so now a couple of games have been played. It is time to discuss Boateng's performance, and... Um, yeah, as you can tell by the rating, I think this card is very good. Really, really good centre-back item. And I'll say this right now, if you run with a team that is just, like, even at least semi-Bundesliga themed, you definitely should be getting this card. 230k seems like very good value for me, especially when other top-tier Bundesliga centre-backs are around the 500k mark. And, uh, for instance, you've got that road to the final customer, who I know obviously does have a lot more pace than this Boateng, but uh, for, me, for me, this Boateng was better in-game. It was just absolutely solid. Solid and uh, as I say, really did enjoy using it. Um, in game, as you can imagine, it did feel quick. Obviously, that shadow chem style does come into play, but that is definitely the chem style I would advise everyone to use on this card anyway. That big boost in acceleration is massive, especially when uh, making them initial movements to try and defend. Positionally, for me, this guy was very solid. Never shot out of line unless I pulled him out of position. Um, he doesn't have high attack positioning and has medium, medium work rate, so for most part, just sits in line, which is obviously great. Um, in terms of passing, this card is pretty ridiculous. He definitely could play a CDM role if you wanted him to. His distribution for me was just mad. Like the long passes were just crazy. And not just off his stronger right foot either, but also off his weaker left foot, which I know he's got a four star weak foot, but it's still a weaker foot. But his left foot was very, very good for both passing over long and short distances, which was a. Uh, yeah, mad. And once again, if you watch the footage, you'll know exactly what I mean with that. In terms of on-the-ball ability for a centre-back, he feels nice. Um, is he a player you should go on dribbles with? No, you shouldn't. But uh, for a centre-back, does feel comfortable in possession. And even when under pressure, he has the ability to keep the ball and distribute. So, uh, yeah, happy with the composure of this card too. Defensively, he's a defender, so we need to highlight this a lot. Interceptions are really nice. And his tackling ability is very, very strong. Because he has such good uh, tackling stats and high strength, strength and good aggression he really really does go for the ball and he wins it most of the time which is obviously something you want to hear from a defender so really happy with both stand and side tackles of this card and with him also being a really tall player i know he sounds a bit ridiculous but his legs are quite long so he's one of them players who you can slide from a fair distance to uh, get the ball and he's also one of them players who you know like stretches out to uh, just nab the ball off of opposition players something you normally see with someone like a van dyke aerially another position where this card is once again really really solid obviously he stands at a very tall height of six foot four and he's also got an elite jumping stat of 90 and in the air he is pretty dominant unfortunately we wasn't able to score from him from a corner but he was regularly winning those headers and uh, that was obviously you know another positive to add to his card and then finally physically how we look in like i've already touched on the jumping's great the strength is very good and the aggression is great as well and yeah all in all physically he's a monster he really really is and he's one of them players who can dispossess would-be attackers with relative ease so uh all in all an elite center back item and i think it's end game i think you'll get a lot of mileage out of this card if you do indeed complete this sbc especially if you run with a bundesliga themed side and obviously there's many good players that you can link this guy to one of them being obviously that brand new team of the year manuel Neuer. if you do manage to get it in an upgrade pack so uh yeah in terms of value for money let's just have a look at bundesliga center backs like i've already said i think this guy is good value especially compared to uh, the road to the final costerman also also compared to uh, the road to the final lava so that is going to do it for this video we're going to wrap it up right there i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below let me know if you've got any questions about this card also let me know your thoughts on the item as a whole and the price subscribe to the channel if you are new around here thanks as always for watching and as always i will catch you in the next one